Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. We are in New York and we are at Camp Hero. I've got Big Joey C here as usual What's up, guys? and beautiful blue eyes Rob from Urban Ghost Urban Explorations and we also have the lovely Kate who, hey who drove a long way to come see us. So we are at Camp Hero. I'll tell you a little more about it when we get inside but this place is awesome. It's an old abandoned uh, Air Force base that some crazy stuff has gone on here. So this is going to be awesome. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so behind me, if you can see, there's a big radar tower. This right here was built for, built in uh, the World War II era for protecting the East from the Nazis. Um, after which, when the war was over, rumor has it that there were Nazi scientists doing some crazy experiments here, one of which was uh, mind manipulation, time travel. Um, this is... Uh, believed to be the uh, reason behind the show Stranger Things. They got a lot of stories from apparently right where we are today. So I'm really excited. This is so awesome. I mean, it's just, I'm so pumped up to be in there. It's like its own little world. Apparently there's a bowling alley, uh, there's homes, there's mess halls. Um, and that big building that you see there is where all the, uh, all the craziness happened. So we're going to get in and we're going to see how high up we can go. Um, that tower that you see back there has um, apparently little bits and pieces have fallen off of that tower. Which uh, if that happens today and falls on our heads, this could be the last thing you see of us. So wish us luck and we're on our way in. Alright guys, we're in. So we're going to uh, attempt to go through this little hole here. So I'm going to cut off and show and get Joe in there. We made it guys, we're in. So, this is freaky. Okay guys, sorry it's a little shaky, I can cut this out. Alright. Wow. Welcome to Camp Hero, guys. I have no clue what the heck we're looking at other than that these are big circuits. Wow. Uh, first floor heating unit. Oh, this is power. This yeah. is a big power generator. All these are power distribution for, looks like air, water, heat. Oh wow, this is so freaky yet so cool. It feels really comfortable in here. You know what I didn't notice last time? Water meters. So this looks like this is the electrical room. Here's an elevator, well, elevator shaft. <clears throat> so one of the reasons they don't want people out there is because that radar tower has been known to have pieces fall off. I think I mentioned that earlier. And you can see the debris laying around. So, um, Plus it's just an old building. It's not safe. But guess what? It's perfect for stupid people like us. <clears throat> so this was definitely the electrical Oh, wow. 
So there's stairs, yeah, there's a stair down here. So we gotta be really careful because you can yeah. see that these stairs have rusted away. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the concrete underneath. stairs are missing. So they made a little somebody made a little makeshift ramp to get up a little higher. So right now we're on the second floor. Yeah. More fuse boxes. Urbex. Little bathroom stall here. Which, by the way, this is not up to the, to uh, today's COVID. So I can tell you that much right now. This is maybe the size of the toilet to get in here. Beautiful view. <clears throat> yes, sir. Huh? Floor, there's holes in the floor. Now it's about, I'd say almost 90 degrees outside and with some decent high humidity. And uh, it's really, really cool in here. So this floor looks like it was possibly office space.
careful, buddy. Careful. Third floor. Oh, look at that elevator. Decoder, pulse decoder normal. <clears throat> if there's anybody out there that knows what any of this stuff is or means, auxiliary compressor, I mean, obviously there's certain things I figured out, but. What? I hear that, Joe. Sounds like I hear like a, a humming sound. There, Joe. It doesn't feel stable, but it looks like a bunch of uh, more circuitry and stuff. Get some cool stuff they have. Pretty incredible. Look at some of these tubes. Do be careful. Look at these old tubes, man. They need this floor is fine. I think so. Okay. I can only imagine what this stuff that he's doing is. Mosquitoes everywhere, bro. I know. To move on. <laughs> Not worth doing it. Joe, I hear like somebody talking like a humming. You okay? Floors are really sketch, guys. So, I'm kind of freaked out by the floors more than anything. Yes. Guys, look at that. Oops. Huh? Yeah, that floor is not good. It actually sounds like there's a human being in here, but that's good. You hear that? There it is again.
Is that you? Watch your step in front of you. This dummy load. So, all you electricians out there, let me know what that means. Let this dummy know what that means. Yes. I feel danger in here. Buddy, that's this whole place is dangerous. So each floor seems to have a similar setup all throughout. It's intriguing. MT test video, MT uh, video bypass. Wow. I really, really want to know what this is all about. I don't think we should open another plate. How many floors are there? There's two more to go. There's, did you see those there? Yeah. You <clears throat> It's like the time travel machine that they stick a monkey in <laughs> and send them off. It does, man. Huh. Weird, right? Look, Joey Blunts was here. But this is the this is the the outer part of that, Joe. Yeah. It's a weird machine. But man, please somebody that knows what this could be. Let us know. Please let us know. It looks yeah, like a little, little um there's something with temperatures, so 
I'm gonna go check these stairs. So this is so so crazy just to know that. Now rumors, but they said they experimented time travel, um, mind manipulation. kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, just to know that even that it's a rumor, the possibility that something like this really happened, like maybe this is Area 51 in the east, um, it's, just, it's just amazing to me. And I'm just going to take a quick little look here because there are stairs there still. Think so, Joe? Okay. No, just look at this. See how the four above has gone? The only thing holding it is you know what I mean? Oh man, you know, I really want to go check it out. This hmm. is there's a point where we I know we want to do this, bro, but No, I know, I know. Safety first, buddy. Yeah, seriously. I don't want to get hurt. But man. I'm gonna go down and then I'll help you down. Yeah. Hold on, I got it. Be careful, please. Shit. Hold on. Is your hand okay? Yeah. Okay. You got it, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty easy. Thank you. Be careful still going. Yeah. All right, guys, there, this is just one area of this that we're going to show you, so. Um, yeah, there's a lot more to this place. We're going to get out of here. Try to get out of here and keep our lives. But also, it's uh, really bad, these stairs. Well, I know there's nobody, there's no way. I'm okay, I think. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Oh. Wow, this place is just, and this is amazing. Be careful. Oh, look, Kate's here. Look, Kate's here. In spirit. Okay. Alright, so we're done. This is just one part of it. So we're gonna shut it down, get out of here through this little hole, and uh, we'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, there's a chance we might be going to jail. So apparently it's okay to be here, but it's not okay to go inside of there. Um, but they were really cool with us. You know, we were honest. And uh, there's a chance we might be going to jail. East Hampton Police is here right now. And uh, we'll see what happens. They're calling us over. Oh, well, thanks, Joe. Chris and I got caught in the building. We shouldn't be there, but you know what? Yeah, we got Big Bob here. here. She is he yelled at us. Grace, Grace we uh, us we went we went right into Grace. the building. Yeah. We shouldn't have. And we shouldn't be. And we got in trouble. A big shout out. Morning. There's Grace, Grace and Officer Peterson. She's awesome. Thank Hampton, you very much. Uh, who is it? The uh, Hamptons Police Department. East Hampton. East Hampton Police Department. Big shout out. They are amazing people. They are great. 
Outside of her macing us and beating us with the big stick, we're yes. okay. We're going to make it, guys. We're going to make it. She's... But you're awesome. Do you want to give a shout out so to your much. kids? Yes, you do. Thank yes, you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, thank you guys. so much. Have a, Have a blessed day. day. Thank nice you. Bob, you. again, thank you. Okay. Have a blessed day. Don't do it again. No, well, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're done. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So, guys, they are amazing people. All right. So, everybody's cool. You know, we were just, like I said, we were honest. We were up front. And, uh, you know, it, it all worked out. Um, <clears throat> so it's okay to be here, but there's a little hole cut out in the building, and we're not allowed to be in there. So, but like Bob was telling us when he was younger, he used to break into this place and stuff, but we didn't break into anything, but we, uh, we, uh, we should have known better, I guess. Everything's good. They were really cool. And, uh, like I said, as long as you're up front and honest and, you know, everything works out and we had a pretty scary experience inside and even a little scarier experience outside so love you guys uh, we might cut this here um, and try and find another place because we need a shower